I'm Chris McLean, lead pastor at Shady Grove United Methodist Church in Short Pump, Virginia. And welcome to this Monday Daily. It's a joy to be with you. We are going to be exploring something called the Real Discipleship Survey, and we're going to do that through testimonies. In the survey, there are six areas of what it is to follow Jesus and four stages in each area. And we're going to be using the testimonies to give an example of those different areas. We're going to kick off with worship, and the first stage in worship is exploring. If you are at the stage of exploring worship, that's a wonderful place to be, and a sentence that's likely to be true for you is this. I attend worship when a friend invites me, when it's convenient, or when I feel the need. So this sentence was true for me as a child, and the first part of it in particular, that I attended worship when a friend invited me, and that friend was actually my grandmother. My grandmother, Gwen, would take me to church sometimes. When I spent Saturday night with her, Sunday morning, she'd iron my dress and we'd go to church. Between the ages of three and 13 about, uh, the only other time we went to church was Christmas and Easter. During those times when I was just exploring worship, that was a very important time for me. Uh, every stage is important. During that important stage, I ran into a sense of holiness. Every time I would encounter worship, I would leave with some nugget where I had the idea that everything was made just a little bit bigger in God's presence. And let me tell you what I mean. Think of a Christmas Eve service if you've had a chance to go to one. If you have and they had a candlelight service, that's one of my first impressions of church. I remember getting a candle and, and playing with it during worship, but when it was time to light it, we followed the pastor's directions on how to light the flame and pass it to the person next to us. And we did that carefully and, and really reverently uh, because one, it was fire, but two, it taught some reverence for God. And that wax would drip down, and, and after a while, I would turn and notice around all these taller bodies in the room, I would notice all the lights lit in all the hands of all the people, and the lights uh, that the ushers controlled, the house lights would go down, and candlelight would be the only light, and the organ would stop playing, and the only song was from all the people singing quietly together, silent night, holy night. And in that moment, I would sense connectedness, warmth, and somehow the room grew. Even though it was full of people, somehow it just felt like things got larger. That gave me a sense of holiness. Another time that I would experience worship was with my grandma, and we would come in, and I remember being welcomed by church people, being introduced by my grandmother. And the most important part for me, though, was communion. At that particular church, there was an altar rail that was formed in a circle around the communion table. And as we walked up to the communion rail, I felt as though somebody was walking me to the deep end of the pool. And I was allowed there. I remember just being amazed that I was welcome and allowed in that space and experienced that bread and juice as being a gift given to me in that space along with everyone else. And so I felt this warmth and connection in that. And just the depth of that space, again, made things feel larger and holy, but in a different way. So thinking about these experiences reminds me of a scripture in Isaiah 6. It says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called out to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And so friends, as we wrap up this example of exploring in worship, I wonder about when you have explored worship uh, or if that's something you're doing right now. What has intrigued you when a friend has invited you, when it's been convenient to come to worship, or when you just felt the need? What has intrigued you about worship? And how can you, as you identify that place that's intriguing, 
How can that place help you to draw nearer to God? Let us pray. Holy God, we thank you for the gift of your life in the midst of ours. Bring us into your warmth, your connection, your gratefulness, and help us know all the more that is to life. Amen. Blessings in your day.